Hi once again, welcome back, my name is Pranitha. And today I'm here to tell you about the brain of a computer, physically about an IC. An IC can be a microprocessor or a microcontroller. Let's learn in detail about the manufacturers of microprocessors way back from 1970s to the present date that is 2018. Without getting delayed let's get started. Before getting started let's classify the microprocessors with their number of bits operation. The microprocessors in a computer can perform 4-bit, 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit and 64-bit operations so far in a computer. Computers operations based on 128-bit are not introduced into market so far. Now coming to 32-bit processor manufacturers, 32-bit processor can be used in a personal computer or in an embedded system. To mention a computer is also an embedded system. The most known and leading processor manufacturing company is Intel. The successors are AMD, VIA, Zaxxon and so on. Intel Corporation is an American multinational corporation and technology company headquartered in Santa Clara, California, in the Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is a global center for high technology, innovation and social media. It corresponds roughly to the geographical Santa Clara Valley. Intel supplies processors for computer system manufacturers such as Apple, Lenovo, HP, and Dell. Intel also manufactures motherboard chipsets, network interface controllers and integrated circuits, flash memory, graphics chips, embedded processors and other devices related to communications and computing. Advanced Micro Devices, Inc. AMD, is an American multinational semiconductor company based in Santa Clara, California that develops computer processors and related technologies for business and consumer markets, almost all what Intel does. AMD is the second largest supplier and only significant rival to Intel in the market for 32-bit based microprocessors. AMD and its competitor NVIDIA have maintained a duopoly in the discrete graphics processing unit, GPU market. VIA Technologies Inc. is a Taiwanese manufacturer of integrated circuits, mainly motherboard chipsets, CPUs, and memory. It is the world's largest independent manufacturer of motherboard chipsets. As a fabless semiconductor company, VIA conducts research and development of its chipsets in-house, then subcontracts the actual manufacturing to third-party merchant foundries, such as TSMC. Moving to next, Zaxxon is a joint venture of VIA. You can just understand by seeing the picture. Cyrix is another company existed earlier when Intel's Pentium got released. Cyrix processors gave tough competition to Intel in terms of cost and speed. Cyrix's designs were completely independent. Focused on removing potential competitors, Intel spent many years in legal battles with Cyrix, consuming Cyrix financial resources, claiming that the Cyrix 486 violated Intel's patents, when in reality the design was proven independent. Intel lost the Cyrix case, which included multiple lawsuits in both federal and state courts in Texas. In the end, after all appeals, the courts ruled that Cyrix had the right to produce their own 32-bit designs. Cyrix was free to have their products manufactured by any manufacturer that had a cross-license with Intel, which included SGS Thomson, IBM and others. The follow-on 1997 Cyrix Intel litigation was the reverse, instead of Intel claiming that Cyrix 486 chips violated their patents. Now Cyrix claimed that Intel's Pentium Pro and Pentium 2 violated Cyrix patents in particular, 
power management and register renaming techniques. The case was expected to drag on for years but was settled quite promptly by another mutual cross-license agreement. Intel and Cirix now had full and free access to each other's patents. It simply allows Intel to carry on making products under a license from Cirix. But however this company got vanished as time passes. Cirix got merged itself to VI Technologies and assets to AMD. Though the companies mentioned are leading, it's not necessary that the processor in your computer is manufactured by the same own company you purchased from. As a part of BPO, business process outsourcing, some companies give the work of manufacturing to some other companies like IBM, Fabless, Global Foundries, Fujitsu, TSMC. For instance Global Foundries is located in the same old place where Intel's headquarters is located, is a company which manufactures processors for AMD, at present AMD's BPO is a company named Fabless, one interesting thing about Global Foundries is that AMD owns more than 50% of shares. This is known as acquisition. So. To conclude if you want to have a crystal clear idea on the companies which are manufacturing processors, go have a visit to Santa Clara, California. That's it's for today if you want many more exciting tutorials like this, consider subscribing my channel infinity to you. Meanwhile stay tuned, stay creative, and I meet you next time.